Today I'm going to show you a craft that uses graphics opaque white craft plastic and we're going to use alcohol ink and glitter to make some snowflakes. The first step is going to be to design your snowflake. I just googled some simple snowflakes and printed them off and I'm going to trace them onto the craft plastic so that I can make sure they're symmetrical, but you could also design your own snowflakes and just draw them onto the craft plastic. After you draw them, you're going to cut them out, and I'm going to trace them on the window, but you could use a light box or another transfer method as well. So I've traced my snowflake, and I'm actually going to layer it so I can do two at a time. You, this is something you probably maybe want to do a series of as ornaments or to decorate your house or classroom. So if you're a teacher preparing these for students to decorate, they would definitely save time to cut multiples or if they're older students, they can cut them themselves, but they still might want to make more than one. some alcohol and alcohol inks and um, I'm just gonna brush a little bit of rubbing alcohol it, it I spilled a little blue in it that's why it's colored but otherwise it would be clear um, and that helps the the drops of alcohol ink spread a little bit I'm also doing it on a paper towel um, just to catch anything that drips off the edge You don't want to get it really full because it'll kind of just not look great after it dries and be a mess. So I just let it wiggle around a little to spread. And I'm going to leave it flat to dry. And when these are dry, I'll flip them over and add glitter on the back so that when you hang them, they're kind of double-sided. So actually, while these two are drying, I've got two that I made earlier, and I'm going to go ahead and flip those over and add the glitter to the back of these. So I just have some glue here, um, just Elmer's white glue and a brush, and I'm just going to brush on the glue along the back of the snowflake. It's okay, it's good to have um, either a messy mat or a paper towel so you, don't, you can just kind of go over the whole thing. have any spots that you missed with glue that you want to um, touch up, go ahead and do that. Lastly, you might notice that the alcohol ink seems to dry a little bit um, dull. It, it doesn't have a sheen, it's kind of matte and it can look a little messy when it dries. Like some pieces look, some, some sections look like there's little um, pigment dust, little bits of pigment or debris and then you know some of my glue got on the back so parts are sh shiny from the glue and parts are matte. So what I like to do is to finish, whenever I use alcohol ink, I use um, a, a gloss 
glossy glaze finishing spray um, just to make it glossy. I'm not going to do that in my studio, but um, this is a good one. There's plenty at any craft store um, just to give it a little gloss.